Welcome to Butterflies of the Biosphere. I'm Dr. Dan Danaher, and today I'm at Mill Hill Local Nature Reserve in West Sussex, next to the Ada River, on the western edge of the Brighton and Lewis Downs Biosphere Reserve. I'm here because I'm interested in a spring butterfly, the grizzled skipper. And to find that, I'm going to need the help of someone who knows quite a lot about it, Colin Knight. Right, here I am with uh, Colin Knight. Colin, so you do the transect for this site. Um, what is a transect? A transect is a, a, a count of all the butterflies on a site. It's done for 26 weeks, starting the 1st of April. And every week I come down and I walk a set route on the uh, hillside here in the reserve. Uh, the uh, transect is divided, my transect is divided into eight sectors based on habitat type. And I, I'm supposed to come down between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m when the temperature is 20 degrees or above. Sometimes that's tricky, if not impossible, <laughs> but you, you do the best you can. And then I walk the uh, sectors and I count the number of butterfly species in each sector that I see. Two and a half meters either side of me, overhead and in front of me. Right, and, and is this a particularly good site for butterflies? Yes, it is. We have over 30 regular species uh, which are sited here. Um, it's very well known for Chalk Hill Blues and Adonis Blues and it has a preponderance of many other species, hair streaks and, and uh, the other blues. All right. well we're here of course for the grizzled skipper today and uh, that's uh, a black and white butterfly, predominantly black with uh, white squares or patches over it and I understand in my research for this trip that it's called grizzled because when it flies, it's it's kind of grey, and uh, uh, and of course, grise is French for um, grey. Yes, it's a very distinctive butterfly. It's quite small, so it's often mistaken for a day flying moth. But when it settles with its wings open, it has this lovely black and white checkerboard pattern, which is quite distinctive. Fantastic. Well, are you ready to go and see some? Let's do it. Here it is. Isn't it a lovely little butterfly? Beautiful. I love that checkerboard pattern on its wings. Yeah, and, and what about uh, the old black and white all the way along the edge there of the, of, of the wings, actually? It's an amazing thing. What do you, why, why, why is it this butterfly stays on the ground so much? It's absorbing the heat from the sun so that it can uh, carry on with its flight. Uh, it needs to do that by opening its wings and uh, getting maximum benefit from the and, sun's and basking. Forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you said to me earlier on this is probably a male. Yeah, I think it probably is a male. It's a, uh, the early the early emerges are males, and uh, they're basically going to hang around waiting for a female, and then they'll they're, they're they're off to to do their thing. Right. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Let's, let's see if we can get it get it. Again. Yeah, yeah. I think we can. Right, Colin. Uh, oh, I can't see it anywhere. There it is. Where? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's quite exciting, isn't it? There we are, Colin. Isn't that lovely? Isn't he a beauty? I mean, that's a lovely pattern on that butterfly. Yeah, and, and resting so well, isn't it? It is, it is. I love it against that lovely neutral background. And that's the photographer's experience talking from you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we do like our neutral backgrounds. Um, and uh, have you noticed how the forewing on the right is just slightly lower than the other forewing? I think it's underneath. It's actually dislodged. It's like a, a disabled skipper, really. Yeah, it's probably damaged. They, they do flit around and they probably get damaged on the brambles. Well, that's a, that's a really uh, amazing site and, and so easily overlooked. I understand that they they can be locally common, but you know, widely disputed in the in the south. But don't go very far up into Britain. No, apparently not. They used to be very widely distributed, apparently, but uh, they 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 seem to be confined mostly to the south. Though there are the old colonies in the far north. Well, Colin, yeah. that's been fantastic. Thank you so much for giving me your time. I really appreciate it, and I mean that sincerely. I really do. Uh, that's a pleasure. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, finding our butterfly and we, we've been chasing it around for an hour now and it's uh, been a great experience. And, and it's always good when you get your target insect, isn't it? It's great to see other things. Uh, but... Great satis job satisfaction. <laughs> and, we, and we have seen some other stuff, haven't we? Peacocks and... Oh yeah, little pyraster, raster moths. Yeah, uh, lovely. Anyway, well, until uh, the next time we meet. Okay, good luck, Dan. Thank you.